Hello, I'm Dr. Eric Potter, functional MD from Sanctuary Functional Medicine. This past year or so may have been a rough one. Uh, like most of us, we are tired of hearing that little word COVID. Uh, 2020 was rough, 2021 seems to be dragging out things, especially for those who are suffering from what we call long hauler COVID or post acute COVID syndrome. Uh, that's a condition where you continue to have symptoms weeks, even months after you had acute COVID. Sometimes that is even when your symptoms initially weren't that bad, but definitely if those who were hospitalized or even intubated are continuing to have a lot of symptoms. With that, we are having a lot of people come to us and asking, is there something that can be done? Uh, in the conventional medicine world right now, they're mainly looking at doing uh, similar to cardiac rehab, helping people uh, build up their conditioning. But there's a little bit more to it because there does seem to be some ongoing information, potentially, uh, I would say probably, some ongoing immune activation. Uh, and there are things that we can do to help that uh, because from recent research uh, that's just come out in the last several weeks, it's looking more and more like the spike protein is causing a biotoxin-like illness. Now, in Sanctuary, we deal a lot with biotoxins. These are things that are made in nature, whether that's a mold toxin, whether it's Lyme toxins, Bartonella toxins, toxic algae, Brahma goose spider bites, uh, whether those are toxins from other uh, sources. But it triggers certain immune reactions that kind of take a life of their own on, uh, such that it causes ongoing inflammation. It can cause these things, and when you look at the list, the mold or Lyme, the symptoms that they can cause, they pretty much are almost exactly the same as having long hauler COVID. The palpitations, brain fog, fatigue, trouble sleeping, GI symptoms, even some rashes, uh, chest pain at times, uh, definitely short of breath, some coughing in there, headaches, uh, chronic pain. So those things are things we deal with. The labs are looking like they sometimes overlap, if not quite a bit overlap, between long hauler COVID and these biotoxins. So we are helping patients, and we've already seen a handful of patients go through the same biotoxin therapies that we use for mold and Lyme being beneficial in long hauler COVID. So with that, and adding a few things that are specific to COVID, say n acetylcysteine uh, or potentially using ivermectin, we are seeing people recover uh, instead of waiting for the 12 weeks for conventional medicine to give you a diagnosis of long collar COVID, we are starting to work as soon as someone's actually, if we're taking care of you already in a clinic and you get COVID, we're starting therapies, even uh, recovery therapies, even before your acute symptoms are over. But if you come to us after you've had COVID, uh, then we are definitely starting as soon as possible, even if it's just four weeks, eight weeks later, uh, trying to help you overcome that. So just want to let people know that there is hope uh, it is not just a matter of let's just go through some rehab, physical therapy until you get better, but there are actually therapies that can help you, and we'd like to help guide you through that. So I look forward to uh, walking through that journey with you, restoring that healthier, more abundant life. Uh, it's possible at Sanctuary.